Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I've got a little special in honor of St. Patrick's Day. This delicious and quick and easy bacon cheddar beer batter bread is gonna be something you immediately fall in love with. I know you will. Let's go see how this all comes together. We're gonna go over all the ingredients for this amazing bacon cheddar beer batter bread. You're gonna start off with three cups of all-purpose flour, one 12 ounce bottle of beer of your choice. I'm using Mickey's because I think it will taste nice. I like a lighter beer, so this is what we're gonna use. We're gonna use a cup of crumbled cooked bacon, a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, two eggs lightly beaten, one tablespoon of baking powder, and here's our seasonings. A teaspoon each of onion powder, garlic powder, cracked black pepper, paprika, dried chives, dried parsley, and a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And we have two tablespoons of sugar, and I have extra bacon and cheddar cheese for the top of the loaf. Um, don't worry about writing all the ingredients down. I will have this posted on my website. There will be a link down below at the bottom of the blog entry in the description box underneath the video. So um, the one thing that you're gonna wanna do before you start out is I have just a standard nine by five bread pan. I sprayed it, then I put a piece of parchment in here that overhangs both long sides and I sprayed that as well. This is gonna help us to get the bread out of the pan without it sticking and I highly recommend this practice anytime you make a quick style batter bread, um, even when you make banana bread or zucchini bread. This is a really great way to ensure that your bread comes out of the pan easily without breaking or sticking to the bottom. So I'm just gonna set this aside. This is really easy. It's just like your typical quick bread. You're gonna put all your dry ingredients in the bowl. So there goes our flour, our sugar, our baking powder and all of our seasonings. And then I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a whisk, just so we can distribute all of that in there. And if you, if there are seasonings in here you guys don't like, you know, you could just leave them out. If there are seasonings in here you would rather have, go ahead and add those two, make this your own. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and add our bacon and our cheese. There won't be any bacon left if Rick keeps taking sneaks. Give this a toss. This is gonna help distribute those bacon and cheese flavors throughout the loaf, and they're not gonna all sink to the bottom. In goes our egg. Two eggs, there's two eggs lightly beaten. And our beer. This is a 12 ounce beer. You can use whatever beer you fancy, whatever you have in the fridge, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be great regardless. If you are not a beer drinker and more of a teetotaler, no problem, I got you covered. Please use a 12 ounce can of club soda. Or you can use non-alcoholic beer. This looks delicious. Mm -hmm. It smells really good too. You ready yet? Almost. This has three of the best food groups in it. The three of the best food groups? Mm -hmm. Bacon, cheese, and beer. Mm -hmm. They're all separate food groups. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm pretty sure all the nutritionists out there would disagree with you. <laughs> Let's get this into our bread pan. Now, we're gonna go ahead and top this with a little more bacon. Make sure you put the bacon on first, okay? <laughs> because we don't want it to burn. And I'm gonna tell you right now that I said there was a cup inside the bread and then I took whatever bacon was left after I fried off a pound of bacon because after the bacon was fried, it there was about a half a cup of uh, bacon nectar that had rendered and um, so you don't really end up with a full pound of bacon per se. It ended up being about a cup and a half of bacon crumbled after we were all said and done. It all went in here, except for that piece is scraggly. What would I do without my quality control inspector? All right, this is going in the oven at 375 degrees. It's going to bake for 45 to 60 minutes or until a skewer or toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean, free of any raw batter. Then you're gonna remove it and we'll be back and we'll show you what it looks like. 
Okay, our bread has been out of the oven and cooling on the rack for about two hours and now it's time to slice it. We're gonna go ahead and slice it and we're gonna bring you back and we're gonna show you what it looks like on the inside. I can't wait. All right, here we go. Our loaf is ready. We're gonna go ahead and slice into it. Um, let's see. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. So pretty. It's still a little bit warm, probably in the center. Once it, it's completely cooled, you can slice this into thinner slices. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Mm. There you have it. There's our bacon cheddar beer batter bread all sliced up and ready to go. And I just want to show you, I'll show you this slice here. You can see the cheese all swirled in there and the lighting is really bad because the sun is coming in the afternoon sun and then the bacon you can see evenly distributed. And I can't wait to give this a taste. We have this piece already buttered up via Rick's request. You certainly don't have to butter it if you don't want to. Not only that, Irish butter. It is Irish butter. Now you tell me what you think of that. Hmm? Wow. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I think it's very tasty. Yeah. Mm. This is a very hearty bread. It's a nice easy quick bread that you can throw together and bake while you're making your soup or your stew. It's an excellent side to go along with any hearty meal that you're gonna be serving. I think this would be great with a beef stew or barley soup. I think it would just be delicious. Or you could even serve it alongside your corned beef and cabbage. So that's how you make this bacon cheddar beer batter bread. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my kitchen, I would just like to say welcome. It's always a pleasure to welcome new friends. Please be sure and hit that subscribe button. And if you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, please be sure to go down below the video next to the subscribe button and hit the bell notification button because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give this bacon cheddar beer batter bread a try and I hope you love it and until next time happy St. Patrick's Day!